You still have time to get today's Delmarva Life Daily Deal. Today's deal, 50% off a personalized singing telegram and balloon bouquet delivery from Lollipop and Company. To get that deal, all you have to do is go to DelmarvaLife.com. You'll find the Daily Deal on the right side of our homepage. So cute. You know, some people like to horseback ride just because it's fun. But for others, it's actually something their doctors suggest they do to help them either heal or progress physically or mentally. And WBOC's Lacey Griffith took a drive to Four Steps in Parsonsburg to see how the horses and riders work as a team. Take a look. It's called horse therapy. Riders of all ages come here to work with the horses. They have individual lesson plans or plans that we see a need in what they need physically or mentally or cognitively. David Wheatley had a medical related brain injury back in 2005. He's been working on rehab since. His doctor suggested therapeutic horseback riding, so he started coming to Four Steps about a year ago. We're really optimistic about him getting back to walking. For Miranda Vickers, she's a veteran rider here. She has cerebral palsy and has been riding for about eight years. I done filthy, do some games and all that stuff and I'm my own trail ride. Her dad D says she keeps progressing. The changes in her and the amount of improvement that she has made has, has just been miraculous. Something so simple that makes a big difference in these riders lives. <laughs> I'm in love with her. Lacey Griffith joins us this afternoon to talk to us uh, uh, more about the story. So, Lacey, why do some of these people go for horse therapy? Well, thanks, for, number one, for having me here. Um, it, people go for all different reasons. It's not just for medical conditions. Some go because they have different medical conditions and they're trying to learn a little bit more about the walking and gaining their mobility again. But for others, some people just go because they're stressed out. Maybe uh, work or something in your life is giving you too much stress, so you need to relax a little. But for other people, some people who deal with grief or a loss in the family, you know, it's just too much. So this is kind of something to get them away, but also help them get back on track mentally. Now, how does horse therapy work? Well, the two riders that I got to talk to, both incredible people and their families, um, they go there and they start by brushing the horse and kind of getting into that soothing, relaxing feel. And then once they get on the horse, they do some different things where, you know, they're riding a little and they do different obstacles. They have to place rings on different poles. They, they stick their arms out and it works on their mobility, um, some of their motor functions, uh, balance, all those things. So. Uh, it, it's, it works a lot of your body. I actually jumped on a horse to see what it was like because I've never been on a horse, <laughs> but you can even feel your hips move as the horse hips move. All right, Four Steps is nonprofit. How do they keep going? Well, they have grants, which is great, um, but at the same time, they do rely a lot on donations and fundraising. And they say that a, a lot of individuals and groups in the community are heavily active, but they can always use more. So they're asking, you know, anybody who can lend a hand to help out, they're actually helping these people who go to Four Steps to get scholarship programs. Wow. So they're actually helping a rider progress in their journey. And the volunteers actually are there to help the riders? They are. Uh, as you can see, Miranda she's been doing it for eight years she knows she knows what she's doing she's pretty good mm -hmm. um, so she doesn't need the volunteers as much but there are 30 volunteers at four steps for David in his condition he needs a little more help so the volunteers are there to encourage him but to also help him with the different things he needs to do so wow. yeah. it's not he, just work. anybody can volunteer it, so it's not just work it's fun too here's you can catch Lacey's full st uh, story horse therapy tonight WBOC News at 10 on Fox 21. Thank you for coming in, Lacey. Thanks for having me. Appreciate that. And up next on Delmarva Life, we are in the kitchen with family, family-owned restaurant General Tanuki's out of Easton. Stick around, get their take on a sushi favorite. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.